One of the most interesting and creative cases that I've done in the last couple of years was this patient. And this patient was unique in that she had a recurrent detachment under silicone oil from PVR and a small full thickness macular hole. So we decided that we would take a retinal transplant from the area of her inferior detached retina that I was well planning to do a retinectomy on and utilize that as an autologous transplant site. So here we are, inferior, where she is detached uh, from this PVR under silicone oil, and we're harvesting a retinal transplant site to put this over her macular hole that's under silicone oil. At first, I start with the curved scissors, and unfortunately, just can't get the right angle with those. So I go to the 25-gauge cutter, and actually, this 25-gauge cutter under oil really works great for this. Got to be very careful. 27 probably would be even better because it'd be more precise. But you can see here, I'm able to get my uh, transplant site pretty well harvested. Now I go back to scissors, and once again, I just can't get the right angle. So I go to my cutter, and using a bimanual technique with the chandelier light in place, I'm able to actually just create this transplant graft. And you'll see the last cut here freeze it. Now I have it in my forceps, and I'm actually able to slide it through the oil and get it actually under the oil, uh, over the macula, and get it into position. I wasn't sure if this was going to work, um, and actually it worked amazingly well. You have to, have to use my light pipe to get it off of my forceps, but you can see here it lays nicely down under the silicone oil, closed forceps to kind of tease it and maneuver it into position. So I'll go back and I'll just adjust it just a little bit more here with closed forceps. I worried about grabbing it simply because I didn't want it to get stuck on the forceps and then I pull it up into the oil and out of the eye. So I'm able to maneuver it just right over the macula and it stays there through the entire case. So I never take this oil out of the patient's eye. I can now go back and from the edges of those areas, continue my diathermy to make my uh, 180 degree retinectomy. You can see I'm retinectomizing over to an area where there was a scar. And then temporally, we're able to retinectomize laser along those areas. I do have to make a couple of linear retinectomies uh, anteriorly to uh, clear out uh, detached retina and to get that retina flat and lasered up. But I'm able to get her completely reattached under oil with a retinal transplant. Suture up your sclerotomies when you're putting oil in. And here you can see pre-op and post-op. And this is post-op week one. Looks really good. Thanks for watching.